Hello guys, today I've got a really simple pistonless counter. Basically it's a, an RS Norlatch array that can be expanded as long as you want, but I usually just keep it in 10 just to keep it simpler. Basically what happens is every time I press the button, it has to be a pulse though, every time um, you press the button it adds one more to the counter, so one more torch will light up. There you go. And it's really, it's got a little feature at the back, so when it, um, just ignore this, that'll be used later. Um, when you get, um, when it gets to 10, this light will then turn on, uh, meaning you can, the signal come over here and reset the whole thing, bringing it back down to zero again. So this can be used in quite a few nice little ways, as you'll see in a moment. So there you go, there's it getting to 10, and it just resets itself. And so basically, that is just a count to 10. But what I've got here is a counter to 1 million, <laughs> in case you ever need to count to a million on Minecraft. Basically, every time one of these rows fills in, it will reset its own row and add one to the one above. And that happens every single time, so each one is to another power. So I'll quickly show you this now. You can fill these up faster just by putting a button there and holding it down. I'll show you the point. So if I've got that there, and I've put this one up to 9 as well, say. That each row will then, um, each row will then knock on, making uh, one added on up here. So if I just add on this one digit, there you go, it will reset that line, reset that line, reset that line, and add one to there. And basically, to know what the actual um, number it's saying is this row is a hundred thousand this row is ten thousands this row is thousands this row is hundreds this row is tens and this row is uh, ones so basically no lights are on up here no lights are on up here one lights on here so it's one thousand exactly is what it is at the moment but say you had I don't know this this would be a um, hundred uh, 110,000, 111,000 even, sorry. And yeah, basically it's just, that's how you count it. And here we go, here's another little thing. I've hooked it up to um, Cube Hamster's um, seven segment display. So now you can basically make it so it just adds one on an actual display every time. So this is just set, set on a clock, so it does it every now and then. And as you can just see then, it just went all the way around from... 499 and ticked over all the way around and basically what's going on here is every time this counts to a thousand obviously because there's three rows um, each time there's a pulse a piston will go up creating another pulse which will go along here and the, obviously the uh, this row will go to the bottom row heads out over to the first digit this one uh, this middle one goes out to the middle one and the top one obviously to the last one and then there you go there's the display so yeah um, now on to building this it's really simple um, as I say pistonless meaning it's um, generally lag free uh, well, obviously if you're building that it's not pistonless but um, using the actual just the RS Nord um, array is completely pistonless so I just set out a little thing here so what you want to start off doing is just make making a line and then just bringing out two every other one and then I'm gonna make it ten so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now from here you're gonna build back back and up one and then up again and then back one again from this and then just drag this one all, all the way out along again and then you're gonna do this for every single every single one right now you've done this I'm just gonna set up all the repeaters basically the repeaters go every other every single one like this in this little pattern here and you just repeat this as long as you want the actual um, 
thing to go because you can make it infinite basically in this direction but I like to do it to the powers as I showed you over there and now there's basically going to put redstone in all the gaps down the bottom you leave every single repeater down here on uh, one tick just leave them Right, now you're going to put in a torch on the top block on every one of these and also on this on this block on every single one as well. Now you're going to want to come over here and bring a repeater on four ticks on every gap on every other one again. Now you're just going to fill in the missing redstone again. And that is basically it. Now you just set a button here to, to reset them all. And now if you set up a pulse, it needs to be a pulse otherwise it won't it won't work. So just follow what I'm doing. Do it like this. Torch here. And as you'll see now if the Pulse is too short; it won't actually won't actually add anything at all. Oh, it does in this direction. Um, so as you can see, I sent the pulse down, and it did it one. Now you can do this, but set this to four. Put a button here, and there you go. It'll add one every time. And then if you want it to self-reset, all you got to do is just put a torch here, and then basically get this from one end to the other however you like so just drag it all the way along and send it up like so and you will need a repeater so you just chuck one in about halfway through so now if I just, I'll just speed up the process really quickly So now if I get to 10, it will self reset. So now guys, if you want to expand it up to uh, another power, so it counts up to 100, you're going to want to put up a, a block like this, up that many, and then just basically rinse and repeat the same design now. I won't bore you with that, I'll just fast forward this. Okay guys, so now that you've got an identical setup, to make it so it adds another one to the one above every time that this gets to 10, what you're going to do, put another torch on here, bring a block there, and then just raise it up. And then you're going to want to put in another, um, another, count, uh, another pulse maker here, so just do it like so. If you want to do it with pistons you can make it because uh, it's just a smaller pulse maker but this one's pistonless which is the whole point set it to four ticks again and there you go now every time that this one fills up to 10 it will add another one over there so you can see it's on one already which signifies 10 basically so now if I just fill this up to Nine, and then as you can see resets this line and adds one to the one above and also if you want to just set a, a reset for everything which I've got on this one all you do is just drag a piece of wire that goes with the repeater into every line and then see as you can see this is on like 111,000 or so you just press the button and it just resets all of them. So yeah, this is just a really simple counter. You can make it as big or as small as you like. Customize it by adding seven segment displays. Really, there's a lot of possibilities. And as you can see, this one's still ticking over at the moment. Oh, we're going to see it gets... So there you go. There's it going to 700. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's really simple, and I hope you enjoyed it.